All right, guys, here's for part two of drawing isometric sketches. Today we're going to get into drawing complex shapes. So first let's review what we've learned. Okay, we start with a vertical line like there, okay, and uh, then we go out. So let's go out four. Whatever, how far I go out on that side, I got to go out on this side. One, two, three, four. Straight up. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three, four, I believe is what that one was. And here. Okay? And that's how we make our simple box. Remember, your uh, paper needs to be in portrait, not landscape. Uh, there is isometric paper out there that's aligned to where it is in landscape, but the stuff that I have is all portrait. And now I'm going to have to do the next part in pencil because I'm going to show you how to draw some stuff. But first, let me show you how to draw like, like say I want to make this look like it had a hole in it. All right. I can go here, here, put a line here, and here. And then you can see it looks like it's old. Now I just got to add depth. So if I had this line right here, now it kind of looks like, you know, something could go right through there and out the other side, right? So that's how you add like a whole, let's talk about curves real quick, okay? So uh, for a curve, I'm going to have to use a pencil because I'm going to have to erase. Now anytime we're doing any kind of complex shape, like an angle or curve, you're gonna want to, uh, you're gonna basically carve it out of a block. So let's go ahead and take this to three, three, come up to two. I'm hoping yesterday the pencil was not showing up very well. Looks like you guys can see it now though. So, and I'm just gonna do three again on this side. All right, let's do two because I think I'm gonna run into my other shape. And here we go. Get the top, two over. Let's see if I've gone up three, I would have caught that one right there. And two over. So let's say first uh, I want to do an angle. Okay, I got a lot of people ask me yesterday, how do I do like a house roof? Well, what you can do is go over and find the middle point. So this is four long. So I go to the top and go, what's half of four, or it's actually, sorry, three long. One, two, three. Remember, you count the spaces, not the dots. There's four dots, but there's only three spaces. And the middle of three is one and a half. So I'm going to put a dot here. Okay. And let's say I want my roof to come down one. Okay. What I'm going to do, and I'm going to go over here and do the same thing. What's half of this? Put a dot there at one and a half. Okay. And I can actually draw a line there now. This might actually help make you guys be able to see it a little better. Okay. Next, if I want to go one down, I go from here, one down. I'm going to draw my line. Okay. Then I'm going to go from here. I'm going to go one down, draw my line. Okay. And this side is the same. From here, I'm going to go one down and connect it with that dot. And then from here, uh, I'm going to go one down and connect it with that dot. Now, this is a little more complex, but you'll notice if I do it right, these angles should be the same. Okay, and now I can actually connect these two. And you can see the house in there. It looks like it's got a little frame around it. I'm gonna connect these two as well. Okay, and so basically I just carved that angle out of that square, and all I have to do is erase the parts of the square now. Like this. And I should have got better. These pencils don't have good erasers. And now you can see I've got something that looks more like a house, you know, and now I can put my little door on here. I'll go a half space and a little window. Go towards that other dot, you know, make that door a little taller. 
Okay, and there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do with this. You could add a, add a sidewalk in if you really wanted. You know, you could add a fence. And you'll see how I'm not necessarily, I'm, I'm going along the dots, but I'm not necessarily using them. So, I'm just keeping that angle. And I can make like a little fence type structure here. I keep this lined up with that angle. And boom, I've got like a little, it looks like the, there's a fence starting to go around. I'm not going to go into too, deep, too much more detail. I've got a lot of stuff to do. So, let's do another. Let's talk about how to do a curve. Okay, so I'm gonna go down here. Four, I'm gonna go over here. Four, four, and let's do one, one, one. Four, and one. Okay, so uh, let's say I wanna make a wheel with this as well. So I'm gonna make a little square here in the middle as well. Okay, I'm gonna lightly draw this because I already know. I should have. Well, I guess you guys can't see the light drawings. Okay, so for the curve, it's kinda tricky and you kinda have to eyeball this, but I'm gonna pick the two halfway, I'm gonna put a halfway point between all of these, so. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay. So here, here, and here, okay? See those dots I put? And now I'm just gonna kinda of use my best guess to make this curve come in there. I'm gonna kinda of connect these dots with the curve in between. And it's not gonna be completely like a circle. It's gonna be a little different because it's at an angle. And it won't look perfect, but you just do the best you can. Okay. And of course, the one I messed up the most is the first one I did. So let's go and make that a little clear. And you just kind of go around till you get it to where it looks right. Okay, because this isn't a perfect circle. You can't just like use a compass here. You just gotta kind of do the best you can. All right, same thing here. Uh, I need to put my dots. Okay, this one would actually be right here because look, you got to remember this is three spaces. So one, two, three halfway points right there. Uh, and then this would be one, two, three. That's where that would connect. So I got to do the halfway point right here. And I don't have to draw in this circle. So I just need to do this part. So I'm going to go from here. To there and then I'm gonna go from here to there I'm gonna stop okay because anytime I get this angle I got to make it and I look the same here like as soon as I get to that point I just have to draw it in when I get to this angle okay and I can kind of round it off to make it look better there now same thing we erase our box lines okay we're just kind of carving this curve out of the shape. Okay. Okay. Same thing here. Put my middle points and just kind of draw the circle in. And then I can erase around here. And I got a wheel looking thing. It's not perfect, but it's kind of how you do it. But it does look 3D. It's probably better if I just try to do it another way. Uh, let's try another one with a curve, just simple. I'm gonna do a little two box by three boxes. One, two, three. Remember, you don't count the first dot. One, two, three, which I think I was doing earlier. It's okay. One, 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 two, one, two, one, 
two. A lot of times when you're doing a curve though, you're just gonna like pick two points. This is probably easier. Make the curve in between. Make the curve in between. Erase the extra lines. Okay, just like that. Let's talk about, uh, so let's look at doing some complex shapes. All right, go and take time, and I want you to just kind of try to draw some of these shapes. Maybe make an object with, uh, we'll do an object with uh, a hole that goes through it, like this. So I want one hole on your object. I want one curve. And one angle. And I'll do a simple angle here for you, just like this one. Okay, right here, I'm going to do it quick. And okay. the angle's the same. I can just put a line straight here, straight here. The only difference with an angle is, is that you should really connect the lines where the angle starts, so like here. I make a line. Here and make a line. You'll notice that I didn't make a line here. If I did, it's gonna look a little weird, okay? So why don't you try doing one hole, one curve, one angle. Maybe try to make it all in one shape. So you do like a curve on this, uh, angle on this side, curve on this side, uh, and then like a hole in the middle if you wanted to a clear-cut example of something easy you could do but if you feel comfortable challenge yourself this is a lot, there's a lot of fun things that you can make and do with this so uh, yeah so go and pause and get working on that and then I'm gonna show you the next part okay so let's talk about how to do a shape like this all right oh man I'm really helping you guys uh, we have to look at it kind of like this, okay? And that's how I'm gonna draw it. It's gonna be kind of at a side. So let's make this vertical line first. I'm gonna go and say that's one, one inch. And let's say these are two inches long, okay? So since it's not a box, I have to think about where this is gonna come in. So I'm gonna say that this starts one in. So I'm gonna go one up and then two over. Uh, one, two, we'll put a dot there, okay, one up, two over, one, two, put a dot there, is that going to be right? No. Basically, uh, this is going to go... About it. I can kind of see, I know that I've got a vertical line here, and I know I've got a vertical line here, so I'm trying to make that vertical line. So I'm going to put it about where I think it's going to go, which is right about here, okay? And that should be two and a half, okay? And then this vertical line, I'm going to do the same exact thing. So, actually we'll line it up with these dots right here. Like that, okay? And now I'm gonna connect this. Connect that. I'm gonna have to go down one, because I went down here, so I'm gonna have to go down one and a half, one and a half. This is where using that other smaller paper is gonna be a lot easier for you just because uh, you have more units to work with, and it's kind of easier to do like half steps. All right, and then same thing. Uh, I need to go up here, two, three, so this is where this starts. This is, this line starts one half above, so right here. Okay, so I draw there, and there. And there I've got my object. Now if this was like a bolt, like this, 
I could then draw down. Draw down. Add a curve here at the bottom, just as best I can. Don't really matter. And I could add my threads. So I'm going to challenge you to draw some random shapes, and this is going to really test your skills. So there's a few different ways to do it, and you're just going to have to kind of play around and get it to look right. Okay? But there, I've got my bolt. Okay? So this is where you can go off of that. Uh, you can only use... Uh, you can't use any horizontal lines, because I can easily you know, make a shape now like this. It has horizontal lines, just as long as my perspective is always at the 30 degree angle. And there's halfway point down and then I'm not here okay so you just got to play around and kind of figure out what works for you here okay so uh, I saw a couple shapes. This was originally this guy. I want to put that circle in the middle. I found my middle point. I just kind of guess okay, where that design would be. All right, so I'm going to give you some objects. Uh, you know, you get a cylinder like this, big old guy. You just make the cube. Put your circle in, draw the lines down, add your circle in the bottom part, erase the outside edges, if you can see that, okay? So that's just an example of how to do like a, a cylinder, okay? So I hope that helps. Uh, I'll be around to help you. You don't have to get perfect at this, but I just want you to kind of push yourself and try. It's okay to make a mistake. It's okay, you know, to try to figure things out. But I'm going to give you a bunch of random objects. I want you to try to draw them as best you can. Okay?